Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to easily generate test data in bulk for your SharePoint list using ChatGPT. This method is perfect for creating sample data quickly and efficiently. So let's get started. I will take an example of issue tracker list in SharePoint. I have already set up a list with columns for issue, issue description, priority, status, assigned to, and date reported. I have also populated this list with some initial data to cover the range of choices field and person column values. Next, we will export this data to CSV file. This CSV file will serve as our template containing the existing value for priority, status, and assigned to column. Because we don't want the chat GPT to generate any other status, priority, or assigned to values because the SharePoint will not be able to process those values into this list. So we need to be very specific what we are asking the chat GPT. So you can see there the priority is low, normal, critical and high. These are the only four options available in that choice column. And same for the statuses. I've added all the possible statuses as well. This is an additional record. I will just go and delete that record. It's not needed at the moment. But you can see all the statuses columns are there. And I just added some sample users in there so we can create the record using the same assigned to people many times. So I will click on the export and click export to CSV. Now the file is exported. It is in our download folder. If I go to the download folder and click on issue tracker list CSV file, I will open it in Excel. So the file is open here. We can clearly see it has all the column headings and all the data in there. So I will just close this file. Let's go back to ChatGPT platform now. I can use ChatGPT 3.5, which is a free version. But the only downside there is that you cannot pass a CSV file or any file to it. You can copy paste the table into the chat GPT chat and then ask it to produce some dummy data. I did test it. It did produce some data, but it is not as good as I wanted it. And also with the chat GPT 4, which is a paid version, you can basically pass the CSV file and then it can generate a sample data in a CSV file format as well. So the next thing is we need to prepare a custom prompt for the chat GPT. Our goal is to generate 100 new records for the issue tracker list. The prompt will instruct chat GPT to use the existing value for priority, status and assign to columns while creating unique and real time issue and issue description values related to software issues. So our prompt looks something like this. Generate 100 records for attached sample document. Make sure to use existing priority status and assign to column values. Make sure to generate unique and real time issue and issue description fields values for each record. All issues must be related to software. We are giving very clear instruction to ChatGPT what we are expecting as an outcome. So now next thing is let's upload our CSV template to the ChatGPT. I will click on this attachment icon and upload from computer and then from the download folder I will click on the issue tracker list CSV file which we have downloaded from that SharePoint site. I will select that. The file is processed and it is ready to go with the chat GPT. I will click on this button to send message to chat GPT to generate me the 100 records. So you can see this is the sample input file and now chat GPT understood what my instructions are and it's going to generate the 100 records here. So here you can see it's the output. So we clearly see the issue, issue description and priority status assigned to all those values are in there. So what I can do is I can click on this download table icon and you can see that it has been downloaded. If I click on this file, it will open that in the CSV format. And we can see here that all the data is generated here. So the first few issues because we did not have the issue description and those records already exist. So I will go ahead and delete those records. I will select them and delete. But these are the all unique record created by 
the chat GPT which I can import to the SharePoint list. So I can go ahead and select these records, all of them. So there are about 100 records, yes. And I will right click on it and click on copy. So we can copy all the record apart from the header row. And then if I go back to the issue tracker list and click on edit in grid view mode, control V, and then it will start processing the information. So we can see it has started creating all those records in the SharePoint list because the priority status and assigned to values are matching for each of the record. So it will have no problem in inputting all the information into this SharePoint list. So while these values are processing, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos on the channel. So after that, I will click on exit grid view. Now you can see all those records are created in the SharePoint list with all the dummy data, but it's a useful and meaningful data. We can use it for the demo purposes or if you want to do the testing with the bulk data into the list or if you have created a power app and you want to test that information, how it's loading and how it's visually showing in the power app. This is a very nice way to generate a sample data in SharePoint list. If I go to the site content and then if I look at that issue tracker list, you can see there were seven records were already created when we downloaded that CSV file as a sample and then we pass it to the chat GPT and chat GPT managed to create another 100 record for us. So you can create 200, 500, 1000, how many records you want, you can get it created via the chat GPT. So yeah, that's it. We have successfully generated and imported test data from your SharePoint list using chat GPT. This method saves times and ensures your test data is relevant and realistic. Thank you for watching and happy testing.